Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Jeff Lutz's road to victory at the No Prep Kings event at No Problem Raceway this past weekend. And also, we're going to talk a little bit about this Godine. Now, check out No Prep Balance on Facebook. Video credit goes to him. And also, photo credit goes directly to their respective photo owners. All right, the pre stage. Here we go. Who's going? Lizzie or Kai Kelly? Jeff! Stage. Here we go. Oh! So finally, after two seasons, Jeff Lutz actually wins another NPK event. He had previously won one in season two, I believe. So this is his second NPK win. Now he had struggled all year with the GTL. I mean, all year. Even in the points, he is still not in the top 10. But he did a really good job this past weekend at No Problem Raceway. He also did a really good job at Bandemir. And finally, it paid off. He actually won the $40,000 race. Now, I've seen a lot of comments online. Well, Kat Kelly crossed center. Well, Ryan pedaled. Well, that is not Jeff Lutz's fault. He earned that when he had the best car that weekend. And he made really good passes, really fast passes, and did not have any issues. That's why he won the race. Did he have the fastest car out there? I don't think so. But he had the best car out there. And he was the best driver out there. That's just the bottom line. And tuner. So that's why he won. And I'm very happy for him. It's definitely well deserved. So this Godine. Now, this car, in my opinion, is one of the most impressive cars on NPK, even though he hasn't won one. Why? Because the rules are stacked against that combo. It's the only combo that can't run full boost or, in this case, full overdrive. So, the fact that he actually goes to the finals, he has won three team attacks, and that is with the most limited combination on NPK. So, if he is doing that good right now, you let him spin that blower to its max overdrive and keep it, keep him at that weight, he is going to crush everybody. I mean, he will win a couple of events. So hopefully next year they do change the rules.